Okay, so before I go, I figure, let me just take this battery here. It just popped up as good on the charger. All right, so here's a little update on battery desulfating. Now, obviously I'm filming this with my phone just because it's more convenient, but here is one of the sealed lead acid batteries. I'm, I'm, I'm presuming, but I am not accurate if I'm saying this is an AGM or absorbed glass matte battery. So if I'm wrong on that, please don't kill me in the comment section, but if I'm wrong, please correct me. But the point is this battery here has been reading about a steady 12.76. This one here, before we did any desulfating on it, which lasted about, I'm gonna say about 12 hours, was reading about 12.36 uh, or something like that. I mean, it was reading above 12 volts, but it definitely had less um, sitting voltage. And now when I hook it up, it's reading just about the same at 12.74. So. With this little guy, it was quite, let me turn that off so we don't kill the battery. It was interesting. When we initially hooked up the desulfator after charging it, it was making a, not like obnoxiously loud buzzing sound, but it definitely was making an audible buzzing noise. And based off my research, that tells me that there might have been a little bit of internal resistance. And based off of that, the desulfator was kicking in. So we ran this for about 12 hours on that. I uh, charged the battery up, I let it sit overnight, and there was a little bit of a voltage drop, but it's hovering around the same as that one, so I'm assuming if there was anything going on initially, that's what was happening. And I'm going to come back and double check this in the morning after it sat, but the, the voltages stayed the same over the course of the day, which is actually pretty interesting. So let me jump on over to the car battery, and let's take a peek at that. All right, so here we are at the car battery. Yes, I'm well aware this is open right here. For some reason, my dad lost the cover for it and we're gonna actually work on printing up something to put in there, but this is the desulfator in action. And the interesting thing is it's, it's not making an audible, well. Yeah, it's not really making an audible buzzing noise anymore, which is, whoops. There went the lid. It's definitely interesting because when this initially got hooked up, it was definitely buzzing a lot more. So let me try reading the voltage on this one-handed. This is going to be fun. So we got that touching there. We got that guy touching there. Now, mind you, this thing's been on the desulfator for a while now. So actually, it's reading seven four five. You know what? That might be a slightly inaccurate measurement of how the battery is doing. So let me look it up to the charger for a while and then we'll come back to that so I don't mislead you. But this guy has been running on the desulfator and at least it's gone from reading like three volts sitting up to reading about seven. So that's an improvement. And mind you, this battery has sat for a very long time. It came out of my uh, Honda Civic, I believe. And when we pulled it, it was dead. So let me hook it up to the charger and see what happens. Well, I figure before we actually conclude the video, we might as well throw this battery that I've been working my magic on into the car. I have zero expectations of it starting, to be perfectly honest, but let's see what happens. I'm not getting any power. Check the connections. Okay, here goes nothing. Eh, we'll try again later.